I'm sure all Star Wars fans have at least once wondered, what if the Republic and the Jedi had stood up to Order 66 and Palpatine's plan? Here you'll learn about all the very many moments when the Republic and the Jedi could have still saved the galaxy from the tyranny of the Empire and Darth Sidious. If Darth Plagas hadn't met Palpatine, Palpatine's entire history began when he recognized his Force abilities at a very late age. He then immediately absorbed the dark side and killed his hated father. And then, after he met with Plagas, he did the rest of his family on his orders, destroying their starship. Had Plagas not taken Palpatine into his training, or had the young man been quickly taken over by the Jedi, the Empire might not have existed. Darth Sidious might not exist. If Master Sifo Dias hadn't died, it was Jedi Master Sifo Dias who commissioned the clone army for the Republic. It is believed that the Master foresaw the future and tried to prevent it. However, the Jedi was killed on the orders of Count Dooku, and the cherished chip for Order 66 was placed in the heads of future clones. If the Master's mission had succeeded, the clones would have been completely subservient to the Republic and the Jedi Order. If Yoda or other Jedi had recognized Palpatine as a Sith, Agreed. It is strange that none of such powerful Jedi Masters, including Yoda, sensed the presence of the dark side of the Force in Chancellor Palpatine, for he was often at arm's length from them. The whole secret was that Sidious skillfully concealed himself from others. If Yaddle could survive. Master Yaddle, an associate of Master Yoda, once followed Count Dooku to meet with Darth Sidious on Coruscant. This moment is shown in an episode of Tales of the Jedi. Yaddle witnessed the risky meeting between the two Sith. The Magister decided not to wait, and immediately deal with Darth Sidious. She tried to convince Count Dooku to return to the Light, and atone for his sins by fighting with her against Palpatine. However, the Dark Lord proved more persuasive, and Dooku was killed by Yaddle. If the Magister could survive, or if Dooku could return to the Light, Palpatine's plans would come to an end. If Mace Windu had killed Palpatine in his chambers, as we recall in Episode 3, Anakin heeded the Dark Lord's exhortations and succumbed to the Dark Side, then prevented Windu from finishing what he had started, and he flew away under Palpatine's lightning bolts. The key moment in the entire franchise, of course, is Anakin Skywalker's transition to the Dark Side. If Windu had time to deal with Sidious, Anakin may have also come to his senses after the Sith's death. If Obi-Wan had finished Anakin off on Mustafar, by the time the former teacher and apprentice fought on the lava planet, Order 66 had already been accomplished, but Master Kenobi could have left the galaxy without a terrible tyrant who would still take many lives. And then Sidious would have to find a new apprentice, which would take time. However, Obi-Wan failed to kill Darth Vader twice, which played a cruel joke on him the third time. Also, the outcome of the fight could have been changed by the presence of a Sokotano, who was on Mandalore at that moment. Togruta would have definitely taken Obi-Wan's side when she saw what her teacher had become. Perhaps the two Jedi would have truly ended Vader once and for all. If Yoda had defeated Palpatine. Episode 3 could have ended in Jedi triumph if Kenobi and Yoda alone had defeated their opponents. Master Yoda put up a decent fight against Darth Sidious, but was still unable to overpower the Sith at the peak of his power in the Force. The combined victory of Obi-Wan and Master Yoda would put an end to the tyranny of the Sith. Subsequently, the heroes still had many moments to defeat the Empire or its individual leaders, but it was all after Order 66 and the rise to power of Darth Sidious. Write in the comments the outcome of what events could still prevent the fall of the Republic and the Jedi.